Hello viewers at home, you're welcome to another video on Moses Mathematics channel. This one is involving compound interest. I want to show you a faster way or another method you can use to find compound interest. There is a general formula. I want to show you a different method on how you can find compound interest. You can still try it with the main method, which is the use of the general formula to know if it is still correct. But I bet to you that it will still be correct. So, we can derive it from simple interest formula. Are you aware? Remember our previous lesson, we looked at simple interest. So, remember we said the formula for simple interest is simply SI equals principal times rate times time divided by 100. Remember? But simple interest case is different because in this compound interest, we need to calculate, if we, let's assume we had two years, we need to calculate for the first year and the second year. Now, compounded together gives us our compound interest. So, in this case, we won't be making use of this T, since we need to calculate for the first and second year, that's separately. So, what I just need from here, from the simple interest formula is, therefore, my words, my CI, compound interest will be principal times rate divided by 100. I can use this. Now, let's proceed with these problems here. Without wasting time, let's start with these problems. It says, what is the compound interest on 8,000 naira for two years at 10% worth rates? Now, we need to calculate for the first year and calculate for the second year. Then, subtract our total amount from what? From the initial principal, for 8,000. That will give us our compound interest. So let's start with the first year first. Let's get the interest for the first year. So I can say, so this is one. Let's start with the first year. Remember we are using CI equals principal times rates divided by 100. So that we can now have, what's the principal from the question? That will be equals 8,000 times, the rate here is what? The rate is 10. So that's gonna be 10 over 100. Now, 2 0 cancels 2 0. 80 times 10 will give us 800. Now, we've gotten the interest here as 800. Let's get the total amount. Amount will be equal to, we need to add this to our principal. That will be 8,000 plus what? 800. The total will be what? The amount will be 8,800. Now, this will be my new principal. I will use in finding the second year, the interest for the second year. Now, let's get the interest for the word for the second year. So, the second year now, remember I'm still using CI is equal to principal times rates divided by 100. So, I will still be having, this is my new principal now. I want to calculate the interest for the second year. My new principal will be, I will substitute P here as 8,800 that I got here. Don't go and write 8,000 as principal for second year. It is what you got from, from here will be your new principal for the second year. So you now see 8,800 times rate is still 10 divided by 100. 2 0 cancels 2 0. 88 times 10 will give us 880 naira. Now, let's get the total amount. That would be amount to be equals 8,800 plus 800 and what? 80 what? Naira. The total of this should be giving us um, 9,680. So I've got in my total amount as 9,680. Now let's get my compound interest. I've calculated for the two years. So it's time to get the compound interest. CI will be equal to amount minus the principal. And this principal you're minusing is the initial. Keep in mind, initial. Initial principal is based on the question you were given. The principal you were given at first, not the one that you are deriving yourself. So what was, what was the first principal was given? That's 8,000 from the question. So you're minusing your total amount from this 8,000. That will give you your compound interest. So then, therefore, we now have CI will be equals total amount which is 9,680 minus the principal initial, that's what, 8,000. If I subtract this, 
the compound interest will be giving me 1,689. So this is the answer to the question of what number one. That's the compound interest. Let's proceed to the next one. Mr. John saved 10,000 naira for one year at 10% rate. If his compound interest is to be compounded half yearly, find his compound interest half yearly. That is to say, if I bring one year and I divide it by two, I have the first six months and the second six months. So the interest is getting for the first six months and the interest is getting for the second six months compounded gives me is what? It's compound interest for what? One year. So in the interest we are getting for the first six months, we need to divide it by two, keep in mind. And the interest we are getting for the second six months, we need to what? Divide it by two as well. Put together now, gives us is what? It's compound what? Interest. But keep in mind that we still need to subtract our total amounts, like the way we did here, from the what? From the initial principal, that's 10,000 there. Keep in mind. Just watch, let me show you how it is done. Now, for question two, we can say um, first, first six months. Remember, we are still using CI equals principal times rate divided by 100. So that the principal from here is 10,000 now. That will be equals 10,000 times the rate is what? 10 divided by 100. 2 zero cancels 2 zero. 100 times 10 will give me what? Uh, 1,000. Now this is not his interest first for the first six months. Let's divide it by 2 because it is compounded half. So 2 in 1,000 gives me what? 500. So this is his interest for the first six months. Let's get the total amount. Amount will be equal to the principal which is what? 10,000 plus the 500, this is the interest. I've divided by two, you gave me 500. So add this up, the amount will be what? Total will be, if I add 500, that gives me 10,500. This is the amount. Now this will be my what? My new principal we use in finding what? The next six months. So let me say second six months. Remember, I'm still using CI equals principal times rates divided by 100. So that we now have, this is my new principal, so I'll choose it for P. So I have 10,500 times, the rate is still 10, divided by 100. 2 0 cancels 2 0. 105 times 10 gives me, uh, that will give me a total of 1,050. Yes. Now, this is not his interest for the second six months. Let's divide by two. Remember, it is compounded half, like what we did for the first six months. If I divide this, this should be giving me 525. Yes. Now, I will now add it now to the new principal I got. That's amount to be equals 10,500 plus 500 and what, 25. The amount will be giving me what? 11,000 and what? 25. Yes, 11,025. Now, I've gotten the total amount, so let me get its compound interest. So I've calculated for the first six months and the second six months. So this is the total amount now I'm arriving at. So let me now get its compound interest. So the compound interest will be equal to uh, the amount minus the what? The principal. Remember, I told you it's usually the initial. Not the one you're getting. It's usually the initial. Now, what is the initial? Initial at first was 10,000. So I will now have compound interest will be equal to this amount, which is 11,025 minus initial principal was what? 10,000. So the compound interest from here will be what? That will be giving me 1,025. So this is his compound interest if it is compounded half yearly. After a year, this is his compound interest if it is compounded half yearly. So I hope this video was really helpful to you. If it was, smash the subscribe button. It's somewhere down there. Leave a like on this video and share this video. I really appreciate that. So I'm going to see you on the next video. Thanks so much for viewing.